we go to this week in stupidity. Come on, man. Worthless comedian Chelsea Handler says that she is a threat to straight men. How about no? Because she's single. You're kidding. And child free. Childless cat lady. <laughs> I'm Jasper Gonzo and this, yeah, because it has nothing to do with you being an insufferable hag. What? And has that more turns than a doorknob. Yeah, lying. C50 Cent. Damn! <laughs> but it's what's next. What's up everyone, Jazz Gonzo, What's Next, your daily dose, common sense, facts, and salt. Hope you guys are feeling good today. Of course, this is the weekend edition, and I uh, hope you're enjoying yours. Of course, it is football Sunday, and uh, I'll be enjoying mine in just a little bit. But anywho, I never thought I'd do a video about this person. Why? Because I get zero fucks about this person. But this person is insensibly, uh, has a uh, severe mental issue. She has severe mental illness of Donald Trump. Yes, Trump derangement syndrome. Ever since Donald Trump came on a scene, she's lost her mind. Of course, recently, she's been running around saying, hey, celebrate my abortions. But of course, now she says, white men, I'm just going generalizing here, or men in general, just do that, uh, are threatened of, uh, threatened of me because I'm single and child free. Not that it has anything to do with you being an insufferable hag, and has had more turns than a doorknob. C50 cent. And here we go. This comes out of Breitbart, Chelsea Handler. I'm a threat to straight men because I'm child free and single. No, because you look like this. That's why men won't go near you. But there are some men who may line up. I'm, ju I'm just saying, you know, it's a lonely Saturday night and uh, they may have nothing better to do. Just saying. Comedian Chelsea Handler claims that she is a threat to straight men because she has consciously made the decision to spend her life child-free and single. Handler has seemingly fallen for the commonly spread myth that one cannot be free or happy if they procreate and allow their DNA to continue on their future long after the, long after the dead. Insisted that she has no regrets about her decision to remain childless, ugly, and a, a spinster and 15 cats. Hey, that's her prerogative, lady. Quote, I'm so glad I don't have kids. Are you really? Really now? You sure about that? Okay. The 49-year-old told uh, actress Kelly Ripa during an interview on Wednesday's episode of the, quote, Let's Talk Off-Camera podcast, which, of course, I never heard of, and don't give it a fuck. Quote, I don't have to ask permission for anyone about anything, Handler said, explaining this because she is child-free and single. I have the great relationship with myself. I'm sure you do. The comedian added before, claiming that she has the ability to get to know herself before uh, she had never been, uh, never put more of her DNA on earth, bizarrely suggesting that a woman can only truly understand herself if she never had the opportunity to, uh, see a miniature version of herself in someone she has given birth to. Yeah, because that never happens. Listen, that's a luxury, Handler insisted. Not everyone gets that kind of time to know themselves. Handler went on to say that she became pregnant when she was younger, but aborted her child because her parents did not approve. Yes, her running around celebrating her abortions. Quote, I did get pregnant when I was younger, and I did think I wanted to have a baby, she said. I didn't have them doing that because I was a teenager. My parents were like, no effing way. Taylor Hamlin uh, claims that she has a sense of freedom in my life that I don't feel that enough women, uh, that enough, that feel like enough women celebrate, enough women celebrate, excuse me. The comedian explained that she had started posting her social media about the alleged joy she experiences in life being a result of childless, childless cat lady, while many saw this as an act of coping. Handler says she received feedback from all these idiot men who she dismissed as being threatened by her unfruitful lifestyle. The freedom, uh, the feedback from all these idiot men saying I'm not really happy and shame on me because I'm not spreading my terrible message to women. This just obviously gave me more of a motivation to do it, she said. They're like conservative media and news outlets, Handler explained. Uh, you know, I'm on their radar because I don't need anything from those men, so I'm a threat. I'm a threat to a lot of straight men who don't have enough self-confidence. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Bullshit. Anyway, if you want to have a baby for sure, go get one. But if you don't want to have a baby, that's valid too, Handler said. Your value is not dependent on whether you get married or whether your value is not dependent on whether you are not, whether you do or do not procreate. At the beginning of the episode, before Handler joined the podcast, Ripa, who is a mother of three, exclaimed, uh, I can't wait to talk to Chelsea because she's very anti-child. From a woman 
who has three almost adult children saying that she's excited because she's very anti-child. Okay. She has a very strong new child stance, the actress added of Hannah, before claiming that she too feels childless because she is an empty nester. One has nothing to do with the other. You can't compare the two, Kelly. Come on, stop it. Ripa, however, never specified whether she regrets having children on her own and never said that if she could turn back time, she would forego having children and furthering her own bloodline. I hope her husband, you know, who co-hosts with her on, you know, on their daily show uh, on mornings on, on regular television, I hope that he doesn't feel like, wait, 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 Kelly. Wait, if you could turn back the clock, you would forego what we have now with our kids and everything that we've you know, built together. You would forego that? Really? If you could do that? I will call bullshit if that conversation or even the thought popped into her husband's head. But anyway, when it comes to Chelsea Handler, she leads a sad and pathetic life. She does. You know, just because, you know, you're, you know, you, you, you just because you, 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 you sleep around and, you know, you know, you know, you got yourself all spread and ready, you know, like a, uh, you know, like parquet margarine. It's, it's, it, no, that's not a life. That's not a good life to live. You know, I'm 49 years old. I'm not married. I don't have any kids. I have freedom to live with my 27 cats. You know, that's, again, it's pathetic. At least, at least if you had a stable relationship in your life you know, a stable boyfriend, you know, in your life, then people are like, hey, well, you know what, you know, she decided to go this way, but look, uh, she's in a great relationship and uh, yeah, you know, who's going to falter for that? But no, not even that, not even that. She wants no ties with humanity whatsoever. Well, sadly, when she's old and gray, all this will come back to her. And uh, sadly, <laughs> She will rule the day. She'll have regrets. Absolutely, she will. But I don't have that problem. Anyway, with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is what's next. When you see more like this, please leave a comment below. Like it, share, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue spreading the word about the show. Appreciate you guys watching as always. And we'll see you next time. Peace.